In this unit tip, we're going to be going over how we can save time when building animations for a character. Now, I'm talking about a humanoid character, so someone like our robot character here would be a good example. Now, whether you're building the animations yourself or you have someone else building the animations, you want to try to keep it as efficient as possible. So how can we create a blend tree, a blend tree that allows us to move in every single direction with just one running animation? Well, we're going to be going over how to do that in this tip. So I have my robot character already set up. I have it set up as a humanoid, and I'm going to go into the animations. Now we're going to create multiple animations out of this one running state. If we take a look at the preview here, he's just going to be running forward. Now we have this set up to loop, so we have loop time checked on and loop pose checked on as well. Now I'm going to duplicate this because I want to create an animation of him going at an angle. So that's going to be a 45 degree angle. I also want him going off to the left or off to the right, so that's going to be a 90 degree angle. So we're going to create duplicates of this by just clicking on this plus icon here. It's going to create a duplicate of the original animation, and I'll call this run underscore 45. Once again, we'll make sure to loop this. And down here where it says at root transform rotation, we're going to set this to an offset of 45. Now this will then turn him 45 degrees from the original. So down this line right here is the original, and now we're going at a 45 degree angle. Now before I make any kind of changes or I save these changes, let's add in our 90 degree angle as well. So once again, I'll duplicate that one. I'll name this to run underscore 90, making sure to loop this again, and then we'll set this to an offset of 90 degrees. So now once again, if we take a look at this, he's now going straight to the left. Now we are going to be mirroring this, so we don't need to worry about creating one going to the right here. Same thing for our angled animation. Now once you're done with those changes, you want to make sure that you hit apply at the very bottom here. Okay, so now we have all of our animations ready to go. Let's create an animator controller with a 2D blend tree. Okay, within our animator controller, we want to start off by creating our blend tree. We'll right click in here, create state from a new blend tree. We'll leave it with the default name of blend tree and we'll double click on it to open it up. Now from here, we're going to change the blend type from 1D down to 2D freeform directional. You could also use 2D simple directional. I just prefer using the freeform. Okay, so we have a couple of parameters here. By default, it's going to create one parameter called blend. We want to create a parameter for both the horizontal and the vertical movement. So over here in the parameter section, first off, it's going to rename the blend one here to horizontal underscore F. I'll create a new one, and these are both going to be floats, and this will be vertical underscore F. Now over here, we're going to have an X axis, which will be horizontal, and a Y axis, which will be our vertical. So let's switch that down to vertical, and now we're going to add in our animation. So the animations are going to be our motions, so let's add a motion field, and we're going to add one for each individual animation. Okay, so the first one is going to be our idle state. I'll just select the animation from in here. We'll select it to idle. And this one's going to start off with a position X and Y of zero, meaning we're not going to be moving at all. The next one is going to be our running forward. And for that one, we're going to be using our W key on our keyboard to initiate the running motion. So that's going to be a positive one along the Y axis. For the X axis, that's going to be zero. Now we're going to be adding in our new animations, which are the 45 degrees. So we want one going left and one going right. So we'll just select the run 45 for the next two. Now these are going to be at an angle. If we take a look at our 2D blend tree right here, our actual graph, if we take a look at the idle state, that's currently in the middle. I'll just move this out of the way. So that's at 0, 0. We have the run, which should be at 1. Okay, so there is our run state. Now we need our run 45 and run 45 here on opposite directions. So the original run 45 is at a left angle. So the first one should be at negative 0.6. And we'll go with 0.6 along the Y as well. This will move it kind of at an angle right here. And if you were to think of this as a top-down view, maybe the characters right here in the middle, if we were pressing W, we would be moving forward. If we're pressing W and A, we would be moving at an angle. So that's where we have our running 45 animation. Now, we also need to do the same thing for the second run 45 animation, but that one's going to be going on the opposite direction in the right here. So I was going to change this to a positive 6. 
So positive 0.6 and 0.6. And we need to mirror this. So right now, if we take a look, if I select this real quick, I'm going to hit play down below to preview the animations. And I'll just move this in front. So if we're walking forward or running forward and I want to go to an angle, you can see how he moves to a 45 degree angle. But if I go over to the right here, it's going to be playing the same animation going towards the left. So we need to mirror this so it actually runs towards the right. Now we can do that by clicking on the checkbox right here. You can see this little icon of a character that looks mirrored. So if we check that on, it's now going to mirror that animation. So once again, if we move this around, we can now see that we have mirrored animations. Now we can do the same thing with our run 90. We'll add those in. Okay, once again, our run 90 starts off by going to the left. So that's going to be a negative one for the X axis. We're not going to be moving along the Y axis. So we'll set that down to zero. Okay, so there is our run 90. If I once again preview this, going from our 45 degree angle down to our 90 degree angle, we'll do the same thing for the run 90, but this is going to be a positive one and a zero for the Y. Now, once again, just like our run 45, we need to mirror this so he's not running in the left direction. So I'll check this box once again, and let's give this a quick test. All right, there we go. We have him running in opposite directions. Okay, lastly, we'll add in a backward animation. We're not going to have any kind of angled animations going backward. I just want to kind of preview this with a backward running animation. So we'll add in one more motion. And for this one, we're going to include the same run animation as up above. Now, all we have to do here is set the Y position to a negative one the X axis to a zero. And now we need to reverse this animation. So to reverse the animation, you want to adjust the speed right now it's set to a positive one. So it's going to be playing in its original fashion. But if we set this to a negative one, it'll reverse the animation. So let's give this a quick try. So here is our forward running idle and then backward running. Now with this animation, it doesn't work quite as well going backward because you can see that his actual body is moving forward slightly. So he's kind of on a slant there. So in this case, this wouldn't work that well. Now, if you want to reverse the animation, a neutral animation is going to be better overall. So if the character is standing up straight where he doesn't have any kind of forward momentum in the body, it's going to look a lot better overall. Now, if we take a look at our blend tree once again, we only have two animations in here. We have our idle state and everything else is a duplicate of the original run state. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six animations. And if we added in a angled going back, we could have a couple more there as well. But these all come from one animation. This is going to save you time if you're building these animations. If you're really, really good at creating one single forward animation, you can then duplicate that over and over again and just use that within your blend tree. So once again, if we hit play down here, I can move this around and here's our idle state running forward at an angle at an angle and off to the right and off to the left. Now you can further enhance this by including some sort of IK with the upper body. So in our original character that we're building with this robot character, the IK is actually controlling the upper body. So when he moves to the left or the right, his body is actually looking forward based off the mouse movement. So he's still moving left and right with animations, but the upper body is looking in the direction that we want. So you can use this as well with your own characters. But there you go. Now we've created multiple animations from one animation and included that within a 2D blend tree.